business on this one, Brandon. The coach upstairs who says his signal down and said challenge it, and the head coach for pulling the red flag. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. He's at the 40, 20, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Nelson Aguilar, 91 yards. And the Eagles had six to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Elliott now to kick this one away. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a test, that's for sure, because to be that close and come up with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on the offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, yeah. let it go, -term memory. and move on to the next series. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And he's brought down. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Brady now on first down. Allen's got it over the middle. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now Brady again. Throwing left side. He's got Gronk complete. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Dwayne Allen, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. Wentz to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On second down, here's Wentz. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try the option right here on third down. And play a 
stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Eagles send out their punter now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And look at this, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here, they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. First down now, but that clock rolling. And they get up on it quickly and spike it with just a little over 50 seconds to go. Now Brady throwing on second down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. From the gun on third down, Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. This is cool. Gronkowski. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are likely going to win it. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, just was unsuccessful. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Now, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Turns into a nice play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Delay of game, offense. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. Well, partner, even though my phone alarm failed me this morning <laughs> and I missed our AM workout, we still made it through this thing together, didn't we? Well, you always know I need extra workouts just to keep oh, up come with you, on. so it doesn't matter. But thanks for sharing a booth, and thanks for being our quarterback. Yeah, you're the quarterback. Always a pleasure, my friend. Yeah. 
Thank you. We are over 4,000 miles away from where you're seated in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England, and Wembley Stadium. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one between the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. midfield and inside the 45. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Now meanwhile a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. And take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Mike Wallace, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Are they going to cover him? That's four catches in the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe, is their understanding that they want to go to him and often, but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at him. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Wait, 20. 
Throwing on first down is Brady. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Well, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And Matthews has it right side. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Third and long, it's Brady. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Sproles, the return. What a spin. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in this seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run into big-time races. It means they got out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Nice movement there by Carson Wentz outside of the pocket, completes another pass. Help me out here, partner. He's not sneaky athletic. <laughs> he is athletic. How many times do I have to say yeah, it? Yeah, you've been making that declaration for a while, and at 6'5", he ran a 40 of 477, so not only big, but he can move. That's a good time for a quarterback. He and Andrew Luck, similar physiques, similar athletic ability. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're eight. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Working from the gun, Wentz. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. Open down left side is Wallace complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now Wentz again. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Aguilar has it. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Wins to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles add on to their lead. As if this Eagles team didn't have enough weapons, now you throw the rookie Dallas Goddard into the mix. Makes a huge impact with his size, especially in the red zone. And he comes through right there. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. That time, a nine-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. <laughs> Elliott now to kick this one away. Now it's Patterson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly Quick does, play. and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this we remind you that coming up at halftime we'll pay a visit to jonathan coachman he's in orlando and he'll have our ea sports halftime report throwing now is brady and seeing nowhere to throw he chucks this one away from harm incomplete now it's third down the one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out, things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Brady to his old reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan from 10 yards out, and the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. This is fielded at the goal line.
Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away, and it's second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. Look like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Throwing on first is Wentz. Steps away. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Wentz will try again on second down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Now Wentz on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wallace. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So we have reached halftime. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Now it's Patterson. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that, Tony. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now Brady throwing on second down to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. There. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski, and it's third down. 
Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him, find him. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Ryan Allen now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, when someone other than the quarterback is throwing the football, it's either beautiful or a disaster, and here it was the latter. Nowhere in between, right? I mean, you're exactly right. It takes a fortitude to call that type of a play, but when it doesn't work, oh, boy, you wish you hadn't. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. So statistically... Both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Give him three on the play, and they'll be facing a third and 12. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now Brady. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. And that time it fell incomplete. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Wentz now on first down. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The completion good for three, and it's second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Play action. It's wins. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a deep. Welcome back now here in London. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. 
play fake here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Wentz. Hurts has it left side. 16 yards to the 16 and a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. To throw, it's Wentz. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. But there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, it's Wentz. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got to lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. as the arm there. The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. And Elliott puts this one through. And they will move up by 10 now. 17 to 7. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock. Put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. So after the INT, here's Wentz. A dump off to Sproles. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Now wins, and that is incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. This is fielded a couple yards deep. So the Patriots coming out now. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. 
I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happened. Goes underneath here to White, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at someone. And Andrews lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Offside. Defense. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now Brady. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. But correct me if I'm wrong, Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. That he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And his throw is incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it. You can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. And he hits his man, Matthews. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first and 10, here's Brady. Throw's going to be incomplete. Jordan Matthews, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time. We ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Brady will try again on second down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nigel Bradham, the linebacker, right there on the coverage. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did.
Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Patriots in control of the football. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Brady got to have this one. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Brady now on first down. And this is caught. It's Edelman. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Rob Gronkowski from three yards out. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Extra point good by Gronkowski. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. And Rodgers has it over on the right side. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. <laughs> to throw is Wentz. Complete left side, the tight end Rodgers. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Now wins, but he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. The Eagles on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third down and 12. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost two, and it brings up four. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Wait, 
Brady to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Rasul Douglas picks it, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. phone alarm failed me this morning and I missed our AM workout. We still made it through this thing together.